Hi guys, I want to share with you something a little different. You're looking at a mixed media piece that my mum has actually exhibited and this is all about found objects and indigo dyeing and stitching and stamping and just lots of ways of just using her initiative to design this which would have been hung, would have been um, the exhibition they needed. This was originally just five little, one, two, three, four, five little tags that each had their own little pull out section but they needed it to be displayed, they needed it to be hung so she's actually got some red wire here but this would have been three stat, three on its own, five wonderful gorgeous mixed media pieces and what we've got is lots of threads, lots of indigo dyeing and when I say found objects, here is a ring pull from a cam. We've got a little bit of indigo and stitching. And what she's done, she's gone back into this. We've got fabric here, which has been got some paper on, got some stamping on. The paper she's then done some more stitching into little bit more decoration so these are just wonderful pieces of mixed media they serve no purpose necessarily you can't necessarily write on them but they have got wonderful beautiful extravagant we've got a found object she's got a lovely key here that she's worked in more pieces of fabric some beads so we've got lovely tassels more stitching and stamping, pieces of paper with more stamping inside, more stitching, she's left some of her threads that are just, or she's just done some more stitching. It is a joy, joyous occasion to hold something that has got so much workmanship inside so we have all of these just wonderful inspirational pieces. I mean we've got more peg work, <coughs> excuse me, more wonderful stitching and what's inside are little wooden lollipop sticks in certain places. Just lovely pieces of fused tissue, more buttons, threads and just the way she's done lots of wonderful layering. So each piece is individual, some shorter than others. Oh, now this little section she's got like a little belly band. Now I know that this is a little piece of copper wire that's come out of, in actual fact, I tell a porky pie. This is a filament from a kettle and as you can see it has got all this wonderful corrosion on it and before my father could throw it away my mum took advantage of it and went oh please can I have that so this just fits on nicely and snugly onto this lovely tag here and we have more wire more buttons and a lovely little wooden one there that she's put and this just slides down as an extra little element that she's done on this indigo little project. So I'm just going to put the tags to, they're going to slide down, I've raised this up a little. And then we've just got these two here and I notice these two are made with a bulk of paper. So can you just see inside there? So we've just got book pages there that she's folded and then wrapped the fabric round and then she runs stitches to hold the fabric round. We've got more buttons and tassels at the bottom and she's just, as I say, there's lots of threads that have just been left. She's got some wrapped fabric at the end, more stitching and this is long and thin and then we've got the second one coming out of this little pouch and more stitching, more hand stitching little neat section of stitching there but look at those tassels 
beads, buttons, and these have all been little triangles of little pieces of indigo dyed fabric there. So put that one to one side and then we come to the main decorative cases themselves. So we have here we've got a found object, we've got this wonderful piece of wood which may, knowing my mum has come from a beach scene. And then I'm not 100% sure we've got such an interesting, it looks like a form of paper making or even, you know your tumble dryer and you know the fluff that you can get around the tumble dryer. You never know with my mum if she hasn't just taken some glue to that and then put some fibres in as well. Or that could just be the indigo dye. We have a lovely selection of beautiful stones here that she's managed to place one on top of another and more of her indigo threads have been wrapped and glued onto this indigo dyed paper. Here you can see a book page, stamping, more fabric, more of this wonderful lovely red wire that she's just put into a spiral and then wrapped around. We have this lovely feather and this feather has come from a jay and is just sitting on a section of threads, a little bit of paper that she has scrunched up and more paper from a book. And lastly but not least we have another piece, now this looks like a piece of blue glass because I can see where it has been, um, it has been in the sea at some point so it's shiny here and mottled here on more of the threads glued down and then this lovely red run round with a bit more stitching so there you go guys I just wanted to share with you I don't know what you would call this but they're like little journaling tags they are absolutely awesome I mean I am getting lots of inspiration loving the way that we've got all these beautiful dangles in all different formats and if you've got a pair of jeans and maybe a little bit of bleaching you also could get some of these effects of your aim and you could play around i'm going to take this as inspiration and i'm going to see what i've got in my collection of found objects and see if i can make something that i could actually put into my junk journal as a reference to my mum's mixed media piece. Anyway guys, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye.